Happy Saturday here. Welcome to Aura 7 Active Word. This is, uh, my name is Francesca and I am the founder and creative director of Aura 7. And it is absolutely my pleasure to guide you guys through this uh, morning practice today. So good morning. Okay, we're gonna get going. We're gonna start on our mats. So when you're ready, come to your mat, grab a block, grab a strap if you need that. It's always nice to have some props with you in case of you need them. And then start in a child's pose. Bring the knees nice and wide, bring the big toes together, drop the hips down to your heels, and then slowly walk your arms in front of you. Rest your forehead down to the mat. So for any reason your forehead does not come down to the mat or it's not comfortable, you feel a little tension in the back of your neck, you can grab a block and place your forehead onto the block. If you do not have a block, you can also stack two fists on top of each other and rest your forehead down onto the top fist. As soon as you get there, your forehead is down onto the mat, onto the fist, or down onto the mat. Start to close your eyes. Start this beautiful inner journey onto your mat. Start to turn off all the distractions. And start to let go of your thoughts. Start by simply noticing. Noticing your body. Noticing the texture underneath your fingertips, the texture of the mat underneath your fingertips, underneath the tops of your feet. Notice the temperature around your body. And then start to shift your focus to your breath. Taking slow inhales through the nose, and slow steady exhales out through the nose. And try to make the inhales as long as the exhales. And pause in between the inhales and the exhales. Now wherever you are, just open your mouth and create a nice audible exhale. Out through the mouth, letting out all the air from the lungs. Empty out the body, empty out the mind. Pause there, so the lips. Take a deep and rich inhale breath in through the nose. Spread the fingers away from each other, reach the, reach the fingertips more forward, spread the hips back towards the heels, open up through the whole body, sip a little more air in, and then open your mouth in a nice audible exhale, let it out, let it go, allow your shoulders to melt down towards the mat, the hips to open up a little bit more, sinking down towards the mat, again, deep inhale in through the nose. Spreading the fingers, reaching the fingers so forward that you can lift the forearms and the elbows away from the mat. Pulling the belly into the spine, now pull more air in through the nose all the way to the deep down to the bottom of the lungs. Hold it there. And then open your mouth, audible exhale, side out. Ha. Let it out, let it all go. Seal the lips, continue the breath in and out through the nose. Turn the head to the right, to the left, massage out your forehead. And then gently blinking your eyes open, rise up into a tabletop position, come on into all fours. Bring in the hands underneath your shoulders, spread the fingers away from each other, and turn the triceps towards the back of the mat. Pull the belly into the spine, lengthen out through the lower back, and bring your knees directly underneath your hips, point the toes back. Press the shin bones down towards the earth and feel the energy in the whole body. Now as you inhale, drop the belly down, let the gaze of the tailbone to the sky. Exhale, gaze back to your navel and push the earth away. Again, inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, lift the gaze of the tailbone to the sky. Exhale, round it out. Come on into that cat pose. Good, come back into a neutral tabletop position. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees just an inch away from the mat. So make your shins parallel to the mat. Feeling that stretching your feet, keep pressing down all 10 knuckles to the mat and wrapping the tricep muscles down or back as you spin the bicep muscles forward. Your neck is long, your focus is down onto one spot onto your mat. That is your drishti, that is your focus. Hold it there, deep inhale. You can hold it there or shifting the body weight to the left foot, pick up your right foot. Point the right toes back and maybe start to grab through the spine from the chin to the chest, gaze back to your navel. Good, then bring your right foot back, your left knee is still hovering over the mat, your right knee is hovering over the mat. Now hold it here or pick up the left foot Point the left toes back and slowly tuck the chin to the chest. Gaze back to your navel like you're going into a cat pose, but your left knee and your right knee is lifted. 
then send the left foot back, come on back into the same hovering position, and then slowly lift the hips high to the sky, find your downward facing dog. Walk your hands just a little more forward, spread the fingers, press down to all ten knuckles, wrap the triceps back, the biceps forward, gaze back to your feet. Focus on your slow breath in and out through the nose. Maybe bring a soft bend into both knees and focus on the length of the spine. As you inhale, come on high into your tippy toes, stretch out the feet. Maybe hear a little pops and cracks in your feet. Then as you exhale, turn both heels down to the back right corner of the mat. Melt the heels down, keeping the feet parallel and still feeling the body weight in the right and left palm equally. And come back high to your tippy toes, come back to center, and exhale, roll the heels out to the left, keeping the feet parallel, same thing here, keeping the body weight in the right and left palm equally. And then come back to center, inhale, heels high, keep the feet parallel, exhale, bend the knees, and push the hips back to your heels, hold it here. Inhale, hips high to the sky, exhale, melt the heels down to the mat, downward facing dog, slowly walk your hands back to your feet, ragdoll uttanasana. Grab it onto opposite elbows, sway the body to the right, to the left, tuck the chin to the chest, feel how the crown of the head is reaching down to the mat. Stay bent over, bring the hands behind your lower back, in one of the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the fist up to the ceiling. See if you can bring the forehead closer to your shins, maybe slowly start to straighten out through the legs a little bit, but be mindful. Good, release the hands down to the mat. Coming into a little twist, bend your left knee, left fingertips down to the mat, reach your right arm high to the sky. Now instead of letting the whole body weight come down to your left palm, see if you can lift the energy up to the right fingers, to the top arm. Then bend your top arm, reach back behind your back, roll the right shoulder back, keeping the spine long, pulling the belly in, and as you exhale, soften the belly and twist. Inhale your right arm high, exhale, release it down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Right finger tips down, but not sinking into the right fingers. Lifting the energy up into the left fingers. Finding that nice long line, stretch with the fingers, then bend your top arm and reach back behind your back. Roll the left shoulder back behind you. Pull the belly and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, soften the belly and twist. And open up, left arm high, exhale, release it down. Let's squat down to Molasana. Toe heel your feet all the way, mat distance apart, point the toes out and the heels in. Bring the hands to your heart center, push the elbows into the inner knees, lift up your chest. Tuck the chin to the chest, lengthen through the whole spine. Now focus on your belly, pull the belly button into the spine, engage your core, lift up from your lower back, and then press into the elbows into those inner knees, pushing the knees back, opening up in through the inner thighs, inner groins. Good job. Release the hands down to the mat. Toe heel your feet all the way to touch. Bring the big toes to touch. Bring the heels to touch. And slide your hands up onto the shin bones as you reach the crown of the head forward. Now instead of pushing the body weight back to your heels, can you push the body weight more forward into the toe mats? You're going to feel how much you're going to need to use your core muscles to stay here and balance. And then instead of pushing the palms into the shins, Push the shins into the palms and find a baby back bend by squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, keep all that length and fold forward. Uttanasana. Grab the heels from behind and then wrap the forearms around the calves to pull the forehead all the way down to the shins. Place your hands onto your hips and one vertebrae at a time, roll all the way up into a standing position. Bring the hands to your heart center, Samasthiri. Roll the shoulders up and back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, root down to the feet, lift the kneecaps up, engage your thighs, tuck the tailbone under. Feel the whole body being engaged, the whole body is participating in this posture. Rooting down through the big toe mounds, pinky toe mounds, the center of the heels, but allowing the breath to flow through the body. Take a deep inhale, open your mouth and let it out, exhale. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Find the baby back bend. Go close the arms. Push the hips forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, come back to center. Hands towards center. Fold forward with a flat spine. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Fingertips down to the mat or up onto the shin bone. Exhale, folding forward again, keeping all that length. Roll up all the way, one vertebra at a time, all the way to stand. Bring the hands to your heart center, Samasthidehi. 
Inhale, the arms to the sky. Find the baby back bend, go pose the arms, push the hips forward, keep the legs engaged. Inhale, back to center, adding on, side stretch. Reach the right arm down and the left arm up and over. Push the left hip out to the side, pull the belly in, keep the left shoulder stacked over the right shoulder and reach the right fingers all the way down. Try to reach your right heel. Come back to center. All right, now it's a little over-exaggerating. And then reach the left arm down, push the hips to the right, slightly gaze up, keep the chin away from the chest, stack the right shoulder on top of the left, push the right hip to the right. Inhale, back to center, hands come to your heart, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. Now this time, we're going to walk back out into a high plank position. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders, separate your feet, hip distance apart. High plank position, top of a push-up. Again, just as we did at the beginning of the class in the tabletop, wrap the tricep muscles back and spin your bicep muscles forward. Lengthen through the whole spine, reach your sternum forward, lift up the kneecaps away from the mat, and feel how your legs are still participating in this posture. Then drop the knees down to the mat, point the toes back, create a nice long spine here, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, and slowly lower down into your modified chaturanga. Press it back, and hold. Then slowly again, lower down into your modified chaturanga, try to keep the elbows by your side, and press it back. One more time. Slowly lower down. Hold and hover. Squeeze the elbows in. Neck is long. Exhale, press it back up. Tuck your toes under. Lift the knees away from the mat. This time, bring your feet together. And roll to the outer arch of the right foot as you lift the left arm high to the sky. Lift up from your right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder. And reach the energy up to the ceiling into your left fingers. Stack the left hip on top of the right. Flex your feet. Slowly come on back, palms down to the mat, keep your feet together, roll all the way to the other side, left palm down, right arm high to the sky. Stacking the right hip on top of the left, so your right hip wants to fall back, stack it directly on top of the left hip, and reach the right arm high to the sky, flex your feet, engage the legs, inhale, exhale, come on back down. Now you can have the choice to drop the knees down or keep the knees away from the mat, lower down into your chaturanga, neck is long. Press back into a high plank pose. Back into downward facing dog, hips high to the sky. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, come forward back into a high plank position, but this time come down to your chaturanga, hold and hover. Then come it all the way down to your mat. Belly down, hips down. Palms underneath the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades, neck is long. Press down to the tops of your feet and spin the inner thighs to the ceiling. Inhale, lift up the chest slightly. Now, try not to press down through the palms. See if you can maybe just lift up the palms a half of an inch away from the mat. Keep the length of the spine, the engagement in the glutes. Lift up the kneecaps, press down through the tops of your feet. Your neck is still long. Exhale, come on back down. Keep the forehead down to the mat. Bring the arms by your side. Turn the palms down, the thumbs out. Press down through the tops of your feet. Lift up the kneecaps. Inhale, lift up the chest. Then slowly lift up the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the elbows straight, and then slowly add the legs, keeping the legs straight without bending the knees, lifting the toes away from the mat. Oh, hi, Louis. Louis is looking at me through the window. Neck is long, deep inhale. Exhale, come on back down. One more time, you're gonna go back up the same way. Inhale, lift everything up, lift up the legs, lift up the chest, lift up the palms away from the mat. Keeping the knees straight, pointing the big toes back behind you. Like I'm coming over and I'm pulling your big toes back behind you. Legs are nice and straight. Now in line, the hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift up the chest a little bit more. Neck is still long. Deep inhale. And exhale, release it down. Place your hands next to your floating ribs. Press down through the tops of your feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And inhale, lift up your chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Arms are straight. Lift up the kneecaps away from the mat. Exhale, glide back to your downward facing dog. Hips high to the sky. Oh, hi, Louis. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Good, with the next inhale, lift the right leg up and away from the mat. Point the right toes down. As you exhale, oh, thanks, he's drinking with water. Bring the right knee to the right tricep. Squeeze the right knee into the right tricep. Hold it here. Your back leg, your left leg is strong and straight. Inhale, your right leg high to the sky. 
Stretch it all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, bring the knee to your nose, round through the upper spine. Tuck the chin to the chest, gaze back to your navel. Inhale your right leg high to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips, let the right knee fall over, right heel fall over to the left side, and point your right knee to the ceiling. And as you exhale, pull the knee to your nose, round through the spine, gaze forward, and step your right leg all the way forward into a low lunge. Come up onto your fingertips, keep your back heel lifted, and then float the arms back behind you. Lift the belly a couple inches away from your right thigh. Try to draw the right thigh nice and deep, but keep pulling the right hip back into the center line, keeping the left leg strong, neck is long, focus is on the breath. Deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, rise up, lift the arms up to the sky, Anjaniyasana, high crescent lunge. Then exhale, fly the arms back behind you, reach the chest forward, interlock the hands behind you. Hold it here, neck is long. Inhale, rise back up, high crescent lunge. Then release the back heel down to the mat for warrior one. So we find our warrior one. Your back foot is in a 45 degree angle. Drop the right thigh bone deep. Keeping the left leg strong and straight, lift up from your waistline, pulling the belly into the spine. Bring the hands behind your back. Interlock the hands, lift up your chest. Then exhale, lean forward with the chest. Keep pulling the right hip back. Turn the chest to the left and hook the right elbow, shoulder to the, out, to the inside of the right knee and draw the crown of the head down to the mat. Good, slowly rise back up, inhale, lift up the arms, warrior one, exhale, hands down to the mat, go through your vinyasa, high to low plank, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. You're going to sit down to the right. Inhale, your left leg halfway up. And as you exhale, pull the left knee to the left tricep. Keep your right leg straight. And then see if you can pull the left knee all the way into the left tricep. Inhale, your left leg high to the sky. Lift it as high as you can come into the down dog split. Exhale, pull the knee to your nose, round through the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Good. Inhale, left leg high to the sky, bend the knee. Stag the hips, point the left knee to the ceiling, and as you exhale, pull the knee to your nose, round to the spine, gaze forward, and step the left leg in between the palms. Come up onto your fingertips, pull the left hip back, reach the chest forward, fly the arms back behind you. Make your right leg this time strong and straight, pull the left hip back into its socket, squeeze the shoulder blades together, neck is long, deep inhale, drop the left thigh bone a little bit deeper, Feel the energy in the whole spine and feel how the back leg is the extension of your spine. And inhale, rise up into Anjani Asana, high crescent lunge, keeping the back heel lifted, dropping the left thigh deeper and keeping your back leg strong. Deep inhale, exhale, reach the arms back behind you. Good, one more time, inhale, lift up the arms and exhale, come forward, this time interlock the hands, see if you can place the opposite index finger on top, the awkward one. Good job. Inhale. Rise up. High crescent lunge. Release the back heel down to the mat. Find that warrior one. So your back leg, that's your right leg this time, it's going to be nice and straight. Straighten out to the right knee. Pull the left hip back. Pull the belly in and reach the arms to the sky. Take a deep inhale. Bring the hands behind your back. Interlock the hands. Lift up the chest. Deep inhale. Exhale. Lean forward. And slowly start to turn the chest out to the right. Hook the left elbow to the inside of the right, left shoulder to the inside of the left knee, and then turn the chest down, drop the chest deeper down. All right, guys, this is a zoo officially. We have way too many dogs for sure. Good, then slowly inhale, rise back up. Warrior one, lift up the arms and exhale. Hands down to the mat, step back into a high plank pose, lower down to your chaturanga, inhale, Upward facing dog, lift up the chest, and exhale, downward facing dog, hips high to the sky. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale, let it out. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale, let it out. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. This time, come on into chair pose, Utkatasana, lift up the arms, drop the thighs deep. Shift the body back to your heels 
and then even lift the toes away from the mat so all the body weight goes back into your heels. If you gaze down, you should be able to see the toes hanging over the knee line. Then really engage your outer hips. Imagine that there is a block in between the inner thighs and then you're squeezing that block as you sit down deeper and deeper. Make sure that you're not creating a big, big arch into your lower spine. Tuck the tailbone under. Keep the core engaged as you drop the thighs. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Sit down deeper. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Just fly the arms back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades, keeping the neck long. Sit down a little bit deeper here. Inhale. Your hands behind your back. Lengthen through the neck. And then exhale. Keep the bind full forward, bring the forehead down to your shins. Lift up the fists, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Deep inhale. And exhale. Release the hands down to the mat. We're going to come into a crow pose, maybe a crow prep today. Maybe that today is the day when you're going to make it all the way to your crow pose. So place the hands down, shoulder distance apart onto your mat. Spread the fingers away from each other. Then lift the hips high. Walk your feet close to your hands. Then bending the knees, place the knees onto the triceps. So that could be the first difficult thing to do. If your knees are onto your triceps, check onto the triceps, make sure the triceps are facing back, the biceps are spinning forward. Then round to the upper spine, recruit your core muscles and start to lean forward, gazing forward. So you're gonna feel that teeter-totter sensation, sending the body weight all the way forward, sending the body weight back. And if you feel safe, you feel like, all right, I can try to lift up one foot, then lift up one foot. If you feel like, okay, I can lift up both feet, lift up both feet. Then focus onto the breath, maybe bring the big toes to touch. Still gazing out at one spot. Hold it here. Feel the engagement in your core. Deep inhale. If you want, you can jump back to your chaturanga, belly flop, or just simply make your way back to your downward facing dog. Go to a vinyasa or skip it if you like. Back to your downward facing dog, your side to the sky. Slow down the breath again. Deep, slow inhale through the nose. Deep, slow exhale out through the nose. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left tricep. Cross it underneath the body. Touch the left tricep, squeeze it all the way in, then extend the right leg out to the side. Hold it here or come to your falling star, lifting the left arm high to the sky. Deep inhale. Exhale, release the left palm down. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through to low lunge. Seal your back here down. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Your Bhadrasana A. Lift up the arms. Deep inhale. Sit down deeper as you exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Adjust your feet, walk the back foot out a little bit more. Turn the back toes in, but maybe not as much as in warrior one. Then check onto the right knee. Make sure the right knee is facing all the way forward. So the, the tendency is to let the right knee to fall inward, that's the lazy variation. But we want to turn it all the way out, turning on the right outer head muscles to keep in the right knee on that track. Then lift up the fingers. Look at both fingers, or all fingers, not both, but all ten fingers. And now make sure the fingers are aligned with the shoulders. Now pull the belly in, and instead of creating, again, a big arch into your lower back, see if you can tuck the tailbone under, and then create that nice long line in your spine. With each inhale, find more length through the spine, pull the belly in. With each exhale, see if you can drop the right thigh bone a little bit deeper. And flip your right palm and reverse your warrior reach the right arm back behind you. Keep the bend into the front knee. And then reaching back behind you still, start to straighten out to the right leg. Now you can hold it here or lift up the left arm and grab your right wrist with the left fingers. Pull the right finger, the right wrist back behind you. Finding more length to the right side body. Good, come back to center, warrior two. Reach forward, extended side angle. Right elbow down, left arm high to the sky. Find that long line from the back heel all the way to the crown of the head. Check onto the right knee, making sure the right outer hip is still turned inward. Now you can hold the right elbow down onto the right thigh and reach the left arm forward. Or you can grab, grab a block, place it ideally to the outside of the right foot, and then reach the left arm up and over. Bicep by ear. And then turn your left pinky, that's your top part, the left pinky slightly down, like you're trying to 
karate chop something with your left pinky edge of your palm. But in the same time, can you soften the left inner shoulder away from the ear and find the length through the outer left armpit, reaching to the left pinky. Deep inhale and exhale. Lift the left one back to the sky, keeping the bend into the front knee, rise back into your warrior two, reverse your warrior, reach it back, then exhale, bend the hands down to the mat. Go through your vinyasa, high to low plank. You can skip those vinyasas anytime. Oh, I wish I could drink from my water, but someone finished it. Hmm, Louis. All right, back into downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up and exhale. Pull the left knee to the right tricep this time. So cross it underneath the body. Then extend the left leg out to the side. Hold it here so you can keep both palms down to the mat or reach the right arm high to the sky. Mm. Falling star. Good. Come on back. Right palm down. Lift the left leg high to the sky. Then exhale. Step it all the way through to a low lunge. Seal your back here down. Set up for warrior one. Inhale. Rise up. Keeping the back leg strong, pulling the left hip back, pull the belly in. Draw the thighs nice and deep. Slow, deep inhale through the nose. Sit down deeper as you exhale. Yeah, we were just talking about you drinking my water, not nice. Deep inhale, exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Sit down deep into warrior two. Your back leg, your right leg is strong. Your left knee is pointing towards that second toenail, so you're really utilizing the left outer hip muscles. Now again, that arch into your lower back. To do, instead of doing that, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the ribs towards each other, then extend the arms. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. And engage the tricep and the bicep muscles to keep those arms lifted. Deep inhale. Go down deeper as you exhale. One more time, deep inhale. Go down even deeper as you exhale. Keep your back leg strong and engaged. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Find a half bind or just rest the right fingers at the back of the right leg. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale, reaching back. Hold it here or lift up your right arm. Grab onto your left wrist and pull it all the way back behind you. Finding an even more length to the left side body. Deep, slow inhale. Go deeper as you exhale. Come back into your warrior two. Extended side angle, left arm forward, left elbow down, right arm high to the sky. Keeping the left knee straight forward, pulling the left outer hip back. Find that nice long line from the back heel to the crown of the head. And slowly reach the top arm forward, bicep to the ear. Soften the right inner shoulder away from the ear. And then point the right pinky down to the mat. And again, you can find that mat, that block, if you like, placing the left palm down onto the block. And when your hand comes down to the block, still checking onto the left knee. Is the left knee still pointing forward? Or are you actively hugging the left outer hip back into the center line? Now find your breath again. This is a really difficult position. So the challenge is really, can you find your breath? Can you find a calmness in this storm? Connecting to every single part of your body, feeling how you're rooting down through the back foot. Now lift the right arm high, keeping the bend in the front knee. Come on back into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reach the left arm back behind you. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat. Go through your vinyasa, high to low plank, skip it. Maybe up level at a handstand or one legged flow. And come back to your downward facing dog. Take a slow inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out through the nose. Keep the engagement in the core, in the center of the body, but still allow the breath to flow through the body smoothly. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Lift up the arms. And bring your hands to your heart center. Lean forward. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the palms together. Now place your right hand onto your lower back sacrum. So I always feel like I tend to round in this position. So see if you can lengthen out from the spine without twisting in your hips, keeping the lower back nice and long. Then join the palms together and focus on the twist. With each inhale lengthening, with each exhale twisting. Deep inhale as you lengthen, and deep exhale as you twist. I'm going to come back to center, inhale the arms to the sky, Exhale, hands come to your heart center. You still, your knees are still bent. Then exhale, hook the right elbow 
elbow to the outside of your left knee. Press the palms together. Now, again, bring your left palm onto your lower back sacrum. Make sure the lower back is still nice and long. Then join the palms together. Maybe bring gaze down to your knees, or your knees are still together, or you're pushing the left knee back with the right elbow. Can you still see the toes and shifting the bottom of it back to your heels? Deep inhale and exhale. Keep those knees bent. Inhale the arms up to the sky. Chair pose with katasana. Hands come to your heart center and sit down as deep as you can. Draw those thigh bones, shifting the body with back into the heels. Come on up onto your tippy toes. Good. Lift the heels as high as you can and then start to draw the thighs as deep as you can. Deep, slow inhale. Oh, yes. Exhale, go deeper. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale, go deeper. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward, straight into the legs. Draw the heels down. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Stay here for a couple seconds. Feel that nice stretch. Maybe wrap the forearms behind the calves and pull your forehead closer, closer, closer to your knees. And then slowly bend your knees and sit down onto your mat. Navasana, both pose. Point your toes up, fingers behind the knees. Lean back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift up the shins away from the mat. Then reach the arms forward. Activate the legs, but first see if you can squeeze the shoulder blades closer together. Really create that flat spine. And the neck is still the extension of your spine, right? Deep inhale, exhale slowly. Go down into Ardha Navasana. Low boat pose. And then as you exhale, pull the right knee in, lift up. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. And inhale. You can keep continue doing this. Or you can add a little twist. Exhale, down. Exhale, down, exhale, down, shh, and down, shh. You can slow it down, you can speed it up, work with your breath. Exhale, 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 last one. Exhale, come back to your low boat pose. Hold it here, now bend your right knee. Interlock the hands, create a steeple grip. So you're going to cross your thumb, release the index finger, and reach to the outside of the right knee. Feel that left side oblique really working here, or you can extend the right leg and reach to the outside of the right ankle, lift it even higher and hold. Your left leg is strong and your left heel is not touching the mat. Lift up a little higher, hold it here. Focus on the breath, lift up higher. Good, then we bend your right leg, extend it forward, hold it low, both pose. Bend your left leg, interlock the hands, reach to the outside of the left leg. This time feel your right oblique. Or maybe extend the right leg high to the sky and reach it all the way up and hold it there with each exhale. Just lift up a half of an inch. Lift up a half of an inch. Lift up a half of an inch. Good, and hold it there for the last five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Hug the knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Give yourself a nice hug. Bring the soles of the feet down to the mat, separate them, mat distance apart. Then drop the knees out to the right, bring the left arm into a goal pose, gaze over the left shoulder. If you like to go a little deeper in this pose, you can cross your right ankle on top of the left knee, and with that, push your left leg a little bit further down to the mat. You're gonna feel a really nice stretch in that left side, lower back, sacrum, hip, IT bend area. Finger in your psoas muscle. Come back to center. Feet are still mad distance apart. This time drop the knees to the left. Bring your right arm into that goal post. As an option, you can cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Find a twist. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to center, hug the knees to your chest, and come into a happy baby pose. Stack the ankles on top of the knees and either grab behind the knees, pulling the knees down, or I'm vegan, I can't eat a fly. <laughs> or reach from the inside from your feet from your knees to grab the outer arches of the feet. Dropping the lower back down, tucking the chin to the chest. And stay still, maybe move to the right, to the left, a little bit massaging out your lower back. Now hug the knees back to your chest. Grab behind the knees, rock and roll back and forth onto your mat. 
We're gonna make our way all the way into a forearm plank position. Make your way into a high plank and then lower the elbows down into your forearm plank position. Elbows down, legs are strong and long. Again, gazing down in one spot. Bring your feet together, side plank onto your right elbow, right forearm. You can turn the right finger, it's inward as you lift the left arm high. Pull the belly and tuck the tailbone under. Good job, slowly, steady, come back to center. We're gonna hold this forearm plank at the center. Separate your feet a little bit, hip distance apart. Legs are strong. Slightly round through the upper spine, but keep reaching the sternum, the middle part of the chest forward. Then drop the right knee down towards the mat and hover. Straight on the right leg and drop the left knee down to the mat and hover. And then switch, exhale. Switch, exhale. Feel those deep ab muscles working here. And exhale. And exhale. Then come back, both legs are straight. Bring your feet together. Turn the left fingers in. Side plank on the left forearm elbow. Lift the right arm high to the sky. Then slowly come back to center. Bring both forearms down to the mat. Now this time we're gonna keep our legs straight. We're gonna push the heels forward and the crown of the head forward. Come to the tippy toes. Exhale, push it back. Try not to do it too fast. Slower is way more effective. Inhale, slowly forward. Legs are strong. Exhale, slowly back. Good. Inhale, slowly forward. Exhale, slowly back. One more. Inhale, slowly forward. And exhale, slowly back. Good job. Drop the hips down to the mat. Good job. Swing pose. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Press down to the tops of your feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Neck is long. You can lift up the kneecaps away from the mat. Or you can also choose to bend your right leg and reach back for your right foot. Maybe gently pushing the right heel down, getting a stretch in your right thigh. You can even flip the palm, point the right elbow to the ceiling. Then switch, right elbow down, bend your left leg and pull it back. Chest is facing forward, maybe. Wrap the fingers around the toe, point the left elbow to the ceiling. Good job, slowly release. Send the legs back, tuck your toes under and lift your hips, lift the knees away from the mat, come on back into the forearm plank. You can then start to walk your toes in towards the elbows for your dolphin pose. Lift the hips high. Keeping a soft bend into the knees, that's absolutely fine. Again, focus more on the length of the spine. Press down to the forearms. The crown of the head is not down onto the mat. It's lifted. Hold it here or bring your feet a little closer together, shifting the body weight to the left foot. Lift the right leg up and away from the mat. It's totally fine to keep a bend into the left leg to protect your hamstring, but try to make your spine long and try to make your lifted right leg straight. Release the right foot down to the mat and lift up the left leg. Again, your right knee can be bent, but the left leg with lifted leg should be straight. Your, your spine should be straight as well. Good, slowly release it down. Come back into a forearm plank position. You know, tell me the core. Bring your feet to get, bring your feet actually a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Then drop the heels out to the right. Both forearms down to the mat. Your right outer foot and your left inner foot is touching the mat and it's gonna stay like that. So just lift the hips up and drop them down. Lift the hips up. Drop them down, lift the hips up, drop them down with the breath. Lift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, inhale, good, come back to center, roll the heels all the way to the left, keep the arches of the, the edges of the feet down to the mat, keep the elbows down to the mat, lift up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale. My water is so popular now that you always drinking out of my water. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more. Exhale, inhale. Last one. Exhale, inhale. Come back to center and drop the hips down. Swiss pose. Feels so good. All right, you're gonna go back one more time into that dolphin pose. 
and then you're gonna have a chance to go up into a pincha mayorasa and into a forearm balance. So for that, I really like to, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I, I like to grab a block and then place the block in between the index finger and thumb, just like that. So that's gonna prevent your elbows to go out and your shoulders to drop forward and that can really hurt your shoulders. So try to keep the elbows and the shoulders in the same line as well as the wrist align with the elbows, good? So place the block down. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. Just watch your hands. Don't let the hands to slide together, all right? Elbows down, <coughs> forearms down, forearm plank, and again, of course, you can hold your forearm plank. That's the best way, a best pose to strengthen your shoulder, your core, so you get ready for those arm balances. And if you want, you can walk your toes in dolphin pose. <coughs> and then from here, you can again just choose to lift up one leg at a time or when you're ready, come on back. <clears throat> and come on back into your forearm plank. If you're still balancing, take your time, no rush. And then drop the belly down into sphinx pose. Okay, then slowly make your way back into a child's pose. If you're still balancing, just keep balancing. Knees are wide, drop the hips down to your heels, arms forward, child's pose. Make your way back into a downward facing dog. Hips come high to the sky. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through low lunge. Warrior one. Inhale, rise up. And bring the hands onto your hips. Step your back foot in closer. Come into pyramid pose. Turn the hips and shoulders forward. Bring the hands behind your back. Grab onto your opposite elbows. Maybe come into reverse namaskar. Pull the right hip back. Deep inhale, exhale, come down to half way. Your neck is still long, gaze down onto the mat, pull the right hip back, turn the left hip forward, lengthen through the spine, reach the sternum forward. And exhale, fold all the way forward, bring the forehead down to your right shin, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and you have the hand behind your back to lengthen out through the back. Of course, it's gonna round some, but the hand is there to remind your spine to lengthen as much as possible. Interlock the hands behind your back, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift up the fist. Get slowly rise back up, all the way up. Good. Then turn to the side, separate your feet a little wider. Good. And then bring the arms out to the side into a T. Flex your fingers like you're pushing the wall away from you. Now feel how the outer arches of the feet are firmly pressing down to the mat. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, slowly start to come down, just halfway again. Turn the palms down, reach the crown of the head forward, shift the bottom bit more into your toe mats. Deep, slow inhale, and exhale, bring the left hand down, right hand onto your lower back sacrum, twist, then reach the right arm high to the sky. Your right fingers are the extension of the right shoulder, try not to just toss the right arm back behind you. Lengthen through the spine. Reach the right fingers to the ceiling. And come back to center. Hands are out to the side like a T. Then exhale, right hand down. Left arm high to the sky. Maybe check onto that lower back situation, making sure you're not twisting in your hips. Then extend the left arm to the sky. Exhale, slowly hands down to the mat. Fold all the way forward. Walk the hands back. So the heels of the hands and the heels of the feet are going to be in one line dropping the crown of the head down, but start to actively lift the shoulder blades away from the ears, lengthen through the back of the neck. Of course, you can go down into a little tripod headstand if that's in your practice, start to lift the legs up. If you're upside down, split the legs apart. Then slowly release them down to the mat. Hands onto your lower uh, and hands onto your hips. Reach the chest forward. Reach the crown of the head forward. Come up all the way up to stand. Interlock the hands behind your back. Lift up the chest. Exhale. Fold forward one more time. Pass the part of the C. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Feet are parallel. If you have any lower back issue, try to turn the toes inward slightly more. Hmm, for sciatica is a really good way to do it. So you have more like be gentle. 
Okay, really slowly rise back up all the way. Then we're gonna turn to the left. So your left leg's gonna be forward. Your right leg steps in again to that pyramid pose. Turn the hips forward, your shoulders forward. And then bring your hands behind your lower back. Grab onto those elbows or maybe come into that reverse namaskar. Pull the left hip, the left thigh bone back into its socket. Pull the belly in deep. Inhale, exhale, slowly come down. Again, the tuck the chin to the chest slightly. We tend to look forward, really tensing into the neck. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Poor neck. It's always rounding. Always need to support a big head. Deep inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, come all the way forward. Bring the forehead down to your left shin. Again, of course, you're going to round some through the spine, but still your hand is right there to remind your back to lengthen as much as possible. Then in our the hands behind you, placing the opposite index finger on top, squeezing the shoulder blades, feeling the connection with the feet, letting the crown of the head fall down to the mat, lift the fist to the ceiling. Inhale, rise back up. Good, then step your feet together. Inhale, the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. And as you exhale, pull the palms down to the mat. Step the feet back, coming into a high plank position. Lower down to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing up. And exhale, downward facing up. Inhale, your right leg high to the sky. Step the right leg all the way forward. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Find that nice stretch into your hips. Then inhale, lift up the arms. Sink the hips deep down. Reach the arms up. Pull the belly in. Good. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Half split or full split. Ardha Hanumanasana, Hanumanasana. Pull the right hip back. Lengthen out from the spine. Deep inhale. Exhale, come on deeper down. Feel that stretch in your calf, in your hamstring. Good. Then slowly come on back. And talk here, the right foot out to the left side, come on into a half pigeon pose, dropping the right chin down, point the left toe back, lift up the chest, inhale, and exhale, melt, fold all the way forward. Five breaths here, slow down. Allow the hips to open up. Allow the shoulders to become heavier. The muscles around the face to soften. And then gently lift up the chest. Palms down into the mat, tuck the back toes under. Lift the right leg high to the sky. Go through an optional flow, an optional vinyasa. Or just simply release the right foot down to the mat. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step the left leg all the way in between the palms. Drop the right knee down, maybe even slightly further back behind you. Point the right toe back. Inhale, lift up the arms. Dropping the hips down, lifting up from the waistline. Maybe finding a little back bend. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat, shifting back into the half split pose. Flex the left foot, feeling the stretch in the left calf, the left hamstring. Pull the belly in deep inhale. Exhale, go a little deeper. And slowly come on back. Toe here, the left foot all the way to the right edge of the mat. Drop the left shin down. Point the right toe back. Lift up the chest. Deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly come down to your half the pose. Bring the forehead down. And again, a block could be a really, really good place here to use. To place underneath the forehead. Come on, Louis. You can go outside. Let's go, dude. Stay in your half the pose. Soften the hips. Soften the shoulder, softening the muscles around the face. We will gently rise back up. Come on onto your palms, tuck the right toes under, lift the left leg high to the sky. Go through an optional vinyasa or just simply come back to your down dog. Drop the knees down to the mat. Sit down onto your mat. Come on into Dandasana, seated in a seated staff pose. Flex your feet, legs are straight, arms by your side. And if you feel like you're rounding, 
Feel free to bend the knees to make sure again, focus on the length of the spine before you're gonna focus on the straightness of the legs. Now maybe slowly, you can shimmy the hips back, and then maybe slowly soften the knees down, flexing your feet, inhale, arms to the sky, engage your core, reach the energy up to the sky, exhale, fold forward, grab onto your big toes, or just rest the hands down onto the shins or wherever they go. But find the long side spine again, take a deep inhale, and exhale, fold all the way down. Maybe walk the hips a little further back, reach the sternum more forward, and exhale, melt, fold even deeper. Instead of forcing to go deeper into the posture, just allow yourself to soften the muscles, to calm the body, calm the mind. Good job. Slowly lift up the chest. Bend your knees. And one vertebrae at a time, roll back down onto your back. Hug the knees to your chest, giving yourself a nice little squeeze, a nice little hug. Left leg is long. Right knee comes into your right shoulder socket. Welcome to my work, guys. Dogs all over the place. And exhale, twist and turn. Right knee out to the side. Right arm into a goal pose, gaze over the right shoulder. Soften the gaze or close your eyes. And come back to center. On both knees to your chest. And then switch to the other side. Hug the left knee in, your right leg is long, tuck the chin to the chest, activate through the right leg, flex the right foot, deep inhale, and exhale, turn and twist, bring the left knee out to the right, goal pose the left arm, gaze over the left shoulder, slow deep inhale, and exhale. And come back to center, hug both knees to your chest, Give yourself a nice squeeze, a nice hug. Wrap the forearms around the shins. Maybe lift up the forehead. Squeeze everything together, deep inhale. And exhale, come down into your final Shavasana. Guys, you need to lay down. Final Shavasana time. Turn the palms to the ceiling. Adjust your shoulder blades onto your back. Let your toes to fall out to the side. Soften the muscles around the face. Take another deep inhale through your nose. And slowly let it out. Give yourself the permission to let go, to stay still, to focus on your breath. Everything around you, every distraction, is just a vibration. You're not connecting to them. You're not being carried away. By them. like to stay in your shavasana for a little bit longer today you have the time please enjoy this moment for yourself as long as you can if you're ready to move on turn the head to the right to the left roll out the wrists roll out the ankles reach the arms up and over head take a full body stretch i could just wake up for the first time and then bending the knees, rolling over to the right or left side, and then gently making yourself all the way up into a comfortable seated position. Excuse me, sir. Cross your shins, sitting up in Sukhasana. Bring your hands to your heart center, by your head in front of your heart. Take another deep inhale through the nose. And slowly let it out. Gently lift the thumbs in between the eyebrows. Lift the gaze up to the ceiling. Blink your eyes open. And together we bow forward. Namaste.
Thank you so much for coming and practicing with me today. Thank you so much, Louis, for coming and practicing with us this morning, being such a distraction, but helping us learn how to stay connected to our breath. So sometimes life is not just all about being quiet and all about being happy, and that we need to learn in all those situations how to utilize our powerful breath and how to stay calm. All right, my friends, thank you so much for showing up. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys like to do next time. Tuesday, we're going to have our next live class. So each week on Tuesday and Saturday at 10 a.m., I'm here and uh, we are practicing some yoga. If you like to do some other yoga classes with me, you can head over to Aura 7 Yoga on YouTube. Uh, there are lots of different style of classes, including uh, classes like this or a little bit higher paced classes, uh, like with sculpt and weights and craziness. All right. So very nice to see you guys. Please keep an eye on all the lunch updates. Next week is lunch week. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. And, uh, and just uh, stay tuned. All right. Have a wonderful Saturday. See you guys soon.